Hey guys, Ethrion here from Language C. I'm from the Guild Legion of Scorn, and I'm gonna do, uh, redo, I guess, the matches between the legend himself and San Mao Jiaozu uh, that we streamed earlier today because there were some internet latency issues and there was quite a bit of lag for those matches. So I wanted to do justice to them and uh, go through them one more time. Um, for the uh, Mr. NZR versus uh, Breeze Thorns Clock match, we did do a match review at the end. And because I was doing it from my own client, um, there was uh, virtually no latency issues whatsoever. So um, let's dive into the first game uh, of the legend himself versus San Mao Jiao Zhu. Um, the legend himself was uh, P1 in this game, which uh, basically uh, fits his playstyle of aggressive single target, kill the tank, kill the dog actually. So both players first bad Landius, which is expected for Le the legend himself, and as well as for San Mao, because you can see he's playing more of a single target focused box. There is some, uh, just a small uh, degree of AoE from uh, maybe Bozo and the Stell, but the vast majority is actually single target. So it makes sense as to why he would ban the Landius. So, uh, second ban, Zeri Listel, fairly straightforward. Second ban, Zeri Hie, again, fairly straightforward. So, he picks Rachel for Gospel. And as a potential cleanup unit. And he gets uh, Yulia and, and Hie banned. So, Yulia is a bad combination with Rachel for Sun Mao. You don't want to give Gospel and Yulia usually. Uh, and Hie, obviously, because he synergizes well with Juggler. So, uh, Sun Mao picks. Uh, Liana. Not quite sure why he second picks Liana though. Because um you could probably have picked someone else. Because you get two threats banned. If you pick a healer, uh, most likely you're gonna get more threats banned. So can't really explain why he picked Liana over here. Of course Liana is stronger on P2 than on P1, but um yeah, in inexplicable to me anyway. So Yulia is banned again, gospel Yulia bad news, no surprise there. Luna is banned. Hmm. Okay, uh, the legend himself probably doesn't want uh, San Mao to outrange him, so Luna is banned because of her Wind God Realm. And there we go, there's a Knight of Mystery. Rachel can provide a semi faction buff for her with Gospel, although it's not as strong as Landis's faction buff, of course. He picks a Yusuke. Um, MK and uh, Rachel are banned out. Iris is picked. She's bad news on player 1. Uh, because of the weird of all the shenanigans that she enables um, so yeah Claret and Yusuke banned out okay Claret Wyler and Tiaris banned out okay Tiaris ban came a bit later than I expected but I guess it's because Samar needs to pick his threats anyway he picks Leon and you should pick Listel most, more or less yes Listel is definitely a stronger pick over Bozo. It's amazing that she's the last pick, actually. Okay, so the legend himself moves up and Tritons to buy himself space to maneuver. Claret does the usual turn one thing. MK moves five squares forward with the space that Juggler has bought for her. Gospel onto MK. Ooh, that was a very lucky tenuous breeze there. Yeah. But uh, he's not fully stacked up yet, so he's probably not going to go next turn, although he does have two turns of the Tenyo a speed increase. So, here we go. Iris teleport onto Leon, so that Leon can ignore all terrain. And this is actually very strong because it's P1. Um, he's going to get two actions uh, before... Okay, so I, I, I'm not sure I agree with this. Um, I guess it's, it's very difficult to say. Um, because with 924 defense, even though he's on water, um, Leon can be very strong. So uh, it's understandable why he would want to gospel up to uh, maximize the chances of him surviving. Although when he does that, that means that he's not going to get another heal in before uh, player 1 attacks again next turn. Which is going to be a Sun Mao's undoubted fall, unfortunately. Okay, so Leon's going to attack. And let's see how much she survives by, and by he I mean juggler. So, as, as per what I was saying, um, I'm not quite sure the gospel is quite worth it. I probably would have preferred if it were myself to trust in my juggler and his water and let Leon bang him. 
because he doesn't have that many sources of, of increased damage. It's just Iris, uh, Iris buff, and of course, without any troops, Juggler is gonna die. Uh, again, with P1, with him being P1, he can move twice, or he can attack twice if you move a healer. If you don't move a healer last, so that's unfortunately what happened. Um, not quite sure why he put the shield buff. Maybe just for the defense buff, you know. Uh, because there's no one else that can uh, do uh, healing reduction effects like uh, heal zero. Um, this doesn't affect Listel's uh, Reaper's Touch. Uh, not right now it's looking bad for Sama because he's lost his tank uh, and even if Leon dies uh, his job is done. He's got the rest of his team to mop up now that the tank is gone. And because he chose to gospel juggler, Claret is not much of a threat either because she has no faction buff. Okay, he really wants to kill the Leon, which is fair. And the main reason why he's doing that is because if Claret were to attack Leon, uh, MK would be free to respond. Remember that she has Broken Spear, which does have range. So she can hit from here and here. So Claret can't hit her safely. Yusuke is the only one who can hit him, who can hit Leon safely from range. So this is where the versatility of MK comes in. Um, she just AoEs instead and runs all the way back. And now that uh, she's moved, uh, Clara is free to move in and kill Leon. So, yeah, she almost died as well. <laughs> because her last rise was used up. I'm just curious, let me let's see the Leon's attack. Uh, the 1600. That's actually not too bad. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, okay. So we were here, and there's an act again onto Yusuke. Unfortunately, that's a bit wasted. Um, he's going to attack Juggler, but without his 3C skill, that's not going to do much. He has one, two heroes to uh, heal up with. Okay, Yusuke is going to die, more or less. Oh, he's not. Wow, last rites. Works its magic. Okay, Reaper's Touch. Blood Dance was already used last turn, remember, on the Leon. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just wondering whether it could have been possible for him to avoid that. Because, um... So, the, there's the pros and cons of what Samal did. Um, he's actually carrying the magic... Is he carrying... No, he's not carrying the magic guard skill. Okay, never mind then. So I'm not quite sure why he chose to Reaper's Touch from 3 range instead of 4. Because if he had done this here... Wait, could Rachel have moved there? No, she couldn't. Yeah, she's not within range. So if he had moved here... And done 1, 2, 3, 4 Reaper's Touch on Juggler. Listel over here would be out of range of Rachel. And that means that Claret would have lived. Although uh, there's a reason why he's doing that. And that's basically to prevent Yusuke from dying to be shock. So uh, pros and cons on either end. You know, If he had done that, then Juggler can just lock both of them down to be shock. Uh, it would be a perfect shock target uh, for Yusuke. Sorry, for, for Juggler. So pros and cons of to what he as to what he did, C B basically accepted that his claret was gone. And he just gave her up. But if he had lost Liana as well, that would have been rather um, disastrous. And just note how little use he survived that by. Uh, oh dear. He gets a breeze. Everybody gets a 10 years breeze apparently. Okay. Estelle is dead, I think. Yep. Too many targets to uh, Reaper's Touch, unfortunately. So Yusuke is going to kill off uh, MK. But that means he's just going to get debuffed soon. Be shock on the Yusuke is the dead Yusuke, I think. Yep. I more That's more or less the end, I, th I feel. There's, I don't think there's any way that this Del is going to come back from this. Okay. Ouch. And I think Rachel still has Reaper. Wine uh, uh, Boar. Okay. So Iris gets rid of the debuff so that Rachel can heal her up. And Reaper onto Listel. Yep. So, one Listel, one Liana against three of them is a dead Liana. And so, San Mao retreated. And that was the first game between San Mao and the legend himself. I'm sorry about <laughs> our guild chat. 
so the second game, uh, Sun Mao was actually P1, and he fared, definitely fared better as you can see since this went to a 3 match series. Same thing from both of them, they first banned Landius for both, and they first picked Juggler, and uh, Zeri Hie was banned. Again consistent with what the, Le the Legend himself did last game. This time round he banned out both Gospels as you can see. This won't work after the delete comes out, and obviously he's going to pick this out. That's the only logical conclusion if he bans both Gospels. Also Weiler and Bozo are banned. Iris is picked. You, can, you have seen what she can enable with regards to ignoring terrain and damage boost. So he bans out Hiei and Zerida, which are both very deadly with Iris. He picks a healer in the form of Liana. And Rachel and Yusuke are banned. So there's a Listel, uh, but there's a Gospel over here, so it might not be so effective. He bans out Leon and uh, Luna because of what Iris can do. So Luna is picked, and um, this is actually a pretty good pick because uh, if Juggler was a faction buff for Luna, that would be quite strong. He picks a Naked Yulia, no faction buff for her, a Naked MK, and a Yusuke. Okay. So Sun Mao is the aggressor here, his units have a lot longer range, that's one. And secondly, Yusuke as always needs some setup time. So the start of the game is when Sun Mao actually wants to engage the legend himself. And you can see the legend himself recognizing this and moving to the corner to try to uh, buy some time for his Yusuke to buff himself up. So really going all out aggressive, such that the Lister is not going to be a threat, especially if Iris does something funny with teleport. So now this juggler is immune to Reaper's touch. He's buying more space, so both magical as well as physical guard are up, are up and it's a fully stacked juggler. Which means that you really don't want to be in this red, these red squares where he can be shot you. Yep, he's probably going to end up at about 3000 attack more or less, once he gets a fully stacked B-Shock off. So the legend himself is hiding uh, and waiting for the Triton and um, and the Great Dragon Barrier buffs to wear off. So he King's Crown onto MK. And he kills off Yulia um, with, the, with MK's attack. Um, at the time we were talking about it, I guess it was more to force a heal rather than a teleport from Iris because there's no other healer. And we act again with Listel, who's probably going to move into range and do her thing. Okay, she mind balls onto enemy Listel and Yulia. Yulia being more important of course because that means that Yulia, if she attacks now, which she's going to do, she's basically going to explode herself. Watch her die. Uh, yep. Ooh. So that was interesting why she died at the end. Let me just double check. Did she have a debuff of some kind? Uh, interesting. Oh, it was the Iris. It was the Iris, Iris uh, heal that killed her. So she's fine with her own heals. But Iris heal was too strong. <laughs> Ironic. Discipline, Eternal Legend, Gift of Eternal Life, and then the Iris heal itself that kills her. If you're wondering why she died, that's why, because she still had Iris's uh, talent on her. So we heal back to full, no problems there. Oh, and we get a Tenyo's buff uh, to add insult to injury. So now this fully stacked juggler can basically go wherever he likes. Yeah, and again, Listel takes damage from uh, the Iris talent. That's probably going to be survive because MK has no buff, and Listel is really tanky versus magical attacks, as you can see. That's going to be a kill, obviously, because Listel uh, is already half dead, and she's not all that tanky against physical if you don't build her the right way. I'm just curious as to what her defense was. But obviously, with her being so low in health, there's no way that she's going to survive that. Let's see, 800, 
fairly decent. I mean, it's, it's not the best, but it's fairly decent. Um, but that's still a kill for Sama. Okay, Yusuke teleports up. So, you have a choice now. You can either be Shock, which you can't. Sorry, so you can't actually, you don't have a choice. So Yusuke is going to come forward and attack your team. What do you do? He's going to punch Juggler really, really hard, such that he's probably not going to survive the next hit. So you probably want to Reaper's Touch on the Yusuke, because he is in range. Barely, 1, 2, 3, 4, but he is in range. And that's exactly what Samal does. Reaper's Touch on Yusuke, so the Yusuke now cannot attack without blowing himself up. And thorns, <laughs> thorns, thorns just seals the deal. And uh, yeah, the legend himself knows he's he's sort of lost, uh, and uh, he concedes because it's four v two, and there's no way that he's winning that game. In the final game of Sama versus the legend himself, uh, the legend himself with his aggressive playstyle is P one, which heavily favors him. I feel, uh, I mean, Sama rushes as well. But I mean, you gotta have to adapt a bit as P two if you're facing an aggressive P one. You play a bit more passively. So juggler first ban sorry, Landius first ban, juggler first pick again for both sides. Zeri here. Zeri here. So this is a mirror pick ban. Luna MK pick Rachel. Pick Rachel and Luna Listel. Okay, so Listel is still up for the legend himself. MK is still up for Sun Mao. He picks Yulia to go along with the gospel. And uh Yusuke and Listel are banned. Uh, and because he gonna pick his own Yulia, so no listals over there. So he's gonna ban out Wyler and Liana, start banning out some nasty healers. Uh, Iris is picked. Teleport shenanigans again. Leon and Claret are banned. Tiaris is picked. And uh, Claret and MK are banned. So at this point in time, I'm just curious how quickly was the Luna ban? Uh, the Luna ban is here. And that's so this is when he really fully committed to a magic attack strategy. Because your, your Luna is gone. Um, there's no source of reduced magic damage for somehow, and he just goes all in on the magic damage route. Okay, we've watched this already. Lastly, he picks Liana. Why not? Um yeah. And Yusuke. Um I don't know what Yusuke can do in this situation. He's not good against Juggler. He's definitely not good against a full health Yulia. He can one shot her like many, many times, you know. If she's at full health, she's not gonna live. Oops, sorry. So let's uh, go. You've seen the teams on either side. The legend himself makes some space to act. Somehow plays really passively. Gospel onto Rachel from the legend himself. So I really enjoyed these games because they were wow, they were just really dynamic, very aggressive kind of high mobility plays. So a gospel onto a Yulia that still has an action, and Iris up. Look at that, so aggressive. Miracle for damage reduction, which is probably a good idea, because you know that Yulia is going to be coming soon for Juggler. <coughs> the other, other alternative is to Gospel, uh, but that doesn't boost uh, magic defense, so it's not. It's basically not as good as a Miracle. So I think he made the right move to Miracle up. And this was the surprising part, where uh, Juggler actually got one shot by the Yulia. That was really, really surprising. Because he was in water, we sort of expected him to live, but that was uh, rather unexpected. And let's go back and see the damage dealt. Uh, I'm going to switch on the animations so that we can see what happens. So 14 and 13, so that's 27, 28,000. What the? So I'm wondering how did 25,000 kill 28,000 total? <laughs> so I, I feel it was a marginal kill, uh, probably because the unicorns themselves were on grassland and so it played straight into their, uh, their passive. Uh, so no point because Yulia is just going to heal herself again well you can't let Yulia roam freely either look at that this is crazy uh, Yulia that was almost dead attacks Rachel with godly menace 
And guess who dies? <laughs> Not the Yulia, that's for sure. The Rachel dies. Yulia does not heal except with Heaven's Gift. Uh, she does not heal with her Eternal Legend because she's below health, uh, so the, her health threshold. And more buffs are removed from opponent, from San Mao's Yulia. So San, San Mao needs to transform Yusuke, but I think the damage is done. Um, attack Blessing. So what's interesting is that, you know, San Mao is taking it rather calmly with a Yulia in his face. He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 buffs on this Yulia. His Holy Justice will debuff 3. Sorry, 5 out of 8. So there's a pretty good chance that he can knock out the, the 4 battle healing from Godly Menace. 5 out of 8 is pretty good. Um, and enable a Yulia kill. Because if you don't kill the Yulia that's in your face, you're kind of going to die. So Holy Justice. Ah, the Yulia is dead. Enemy Yulia is dead. Rachel comes in, trying to clean up. Pretty effective, actually. Wow. So the reason he's doing that is because Iris can actually reach Yulia and finish her off. She's using Sorceresses, which are at full health. So those do pack quite a serious offensive punch. So not surprising that Yulia falls to Iris. So now it's just Yusuke and Tiaris versus almost the entire enemy team. Um, this series of trades did not work out well for Samao, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's honestly not much that uh, Yusuke can do against a juggler that's forever in actual water instead of having a Triton buff. Select C. Almost everyone is in range. Actually, everyone's in range uh, for San Mao. Okay. He attacks the Yulia. Sorry, from the Liana, who survives because of Shrine Maidens. It's really hard to kill a full health Liana with Shrine Maidens. Um, Juggler does not have physical guard. His Triton went down, which is why Yusuke was able to attack her. But, you know, the Liana survives, so that's like, the end of that. Okay, so I hope you guys found the matches exciting and that you learned from them uh, by watching them. And uh, it's definitely been my pleasure covering the event so far and we have two more days of great matches to go for this weekend. So if you guys are looking, uh, are viewing this uh, video as a, sorry, let me just get this, <laughs> viewing this video uh, in the future uh, after, uh, and you might have missed the live stream, come and join us in the live stream tomorrow. Uh, it is a lot more fun watching it live and uh, tomorrow we'll be on Mr. Scissor's uh, Twitch, so uh, do catch us there. In any case, uh, this is Zethrion, I hope you found this helpful, useful, entertaining, and I'm signing off for tonight.